What's going on, everyone? Let me set the scene for you. It was about a year and a month ago, and I was a high school journalism teacher, a public high school journalism teacher. I had been one for around 18 years. So I wasn't new to the job. I was a veteran. I thought I'd seen it all, and I had not seen it all. <laughs> that last year of teaching was the most brutal experience of my life. I'm not going to get deep into it because I would go on for a long time, and also my blood pressure would go way beyond above this lens right here. Uh, I'm going to post an article about the situa situation below. If you want to know about specifics of what happened leading up to me uh, quitting my job, I'm going to put that down below. But well, let me... I, I want to put you at school and, and let you see what happened, let you picture this in your head. So I'm a teacher. I'm at school. It's a Friday. And it was around 1030. And I'm in this meeting with my principal, assistant principal, and the other advisor that I was teaching with. The meeting was a disaster. It was a, it was a train wreck off the rails. Just I'm in the meeting just looking around just like, is this the real world? I'm wondering is this really happening? I'm looking over here and, and my buddy has got his head in his hands and nobody's looking at each other in the eyes. It was, it was crazy. But what I did is I got a lot of clarity. I had realized that I could walk away at that moment and that I had to walk away at that moment if I wanted to sleep again. <laughs> because for almost six months that school year, I had barely slept. So that meeting was a revelation. The angels were actually singing. The clouds were opening. And I was like, I can quit. I can now quit. And I went downstairs. I went to my room and I typed up my resignation. Uh, I had already brought most of my stuff home like two months ago because I was thinking about quitting multiple times because it was such a horrible situation. So I didn't have to bring much home. I printed off my resignation letter, went upstairs, and I handed it to my principal. And he just, <laughs> my principal's a tall dude. He's six foot something. I'm 5'10 on a good day with, with, with high shoes. And he just sighed. I remember him looking down like this, and he, he said, are you sure? Do you, wanna, do you want the weekend to think about it? I'll put this somewhere else, and you can come in on Monday and tell me what you think. And I was like, no, I'm good. See you later. I'm out. I, I had no reservations. And I I – handed him that. I walked out of the building. I went to my car, drove home, washed the dishes. And that was the end of my entire career. I, uh, they said they were going to go and take away my teaching, like go to the school board or go to the state certification board, I think, and, and take away, revoke my, uh, degree or my, not my degree, my certificate. If I did that, uh, they ended up not doing that. My, I just checked a couple days ago. And I'm still in good standing, according to the state board. Uh, but I quit my job after 18 years in the moment. In that moment, I'm looking at the world of teaching and all the teachers that I know that are in tons of pain, that are suffering, and they're in just tough situations. They're wondering, how do I get out of here? What do I do? A lot of it has to do with society's guilt trip towards teachers that we have to take it. We have to do it for the kids. There were many times when I was just at school, I was there for the kids and for no other reason, because when you're on the outside, it's kind of probably like a lot of other professions. When you're on the outside, you think, you know, what goes on, you know, that the comment about teachers having summer. Oh, what do you guys have to complain about? You have summer off and uh, you know, all that stuff until you're on the inside, you have no idea. And COVID and society Society changing quite a bit recent in recent years has changed the profession profession and made it really, really tough. Teachers don't get paid a lot and we're not there for the money, but we need to start demanding that we are treated better, that we are not just thrown under the rug by parents, by society, by the superintendent, by the principals, by the administration, all those people that make a lot more money than teachers do but have very little impact inside the classroom because the best bit of advice I ever heard was my first year teaching close your door and teach because all that other crap is meaningless and garbage. And it sucks that that's where all the money and power is. So if you're a teacher out there and you're struggling 
and you're feeling guilty because you don't want to leave the kids, I just got to say it's not your responsibility. The kids will be all right. The kids are awesome. The kids are powerful. When I left, there was a First Amendment battle going on. And one of my mentors told me, you know what? You can leave and you can walk away and it could be the, it could be the kids fight. It could be the students fight. And it was. And they won. <laughs> it was really cool. And I was super proud of that situation. They just were incredible. I missed them immensely. And I'm sure some of the students were mad at me for leaving. Some of the students, most of them told me they understood, which was really inspiring. Most of the parents told me that they, they couldn't believe how long I had lasted. Um, so walking away made sense for me. And I think it can make sense for you if you're thinking about walking away. When I left, I realized that when I entered the job market again, teachers are pretty awesome. We have a lot of skills. We are able to talk in front of people. We are able to take a room of, of, of madness and do something with it, create projects and, and build character and, and bring students from point A to point Z in an incredible fashion, right? The best teachers out there can do that. And, and I think that jobs and people who are hiring right now are looking for us. And I think there are opportunities for you if you're considering teaching, leaving teaching that you should go and pursue. When I was out of teaching, when I left, over the next couple of weeks, I had multiple job op offers. And I got a job that is currently what I'm doing every single day. And I love it. And it's given me more time and more ability to do the things I love. And more than anything, it's brought back my mental sanity. When I left, I had no idea what kind of mental load was on my shoulders every single day. I'm talking every day. When I talk to other teachers who have left or recently, they kind of say the same thing. It's like walking around and seeing the world a little bit clearer, which is really awesome. It's really amazing. I get to stand really proud of my career. I have... I have over in the corner somewhere. <laughs> I should have brought it over. This big bag, this, this really big bag of hundreds and hundreds of letters that my students have written to me over the years. Parents thanking me for all I did. And I'm not going to try to say I'm a great teacher. I'm the best ever. But I was able to walk Jessica down the aisle at her wedding, which is still something that chokes me up when I think about it. And I was able to be an officiant at another wedding. I was able to be there for many, many students and have a little bit of an impact on their lives. And that is awesome. And teachers are not given nearly enough credit for what we do. They want to call us professionals, but they don't treat us like professionals. The gist of the story is really just talking to you. If you're a teacher, if you're thinking about leaving, I think you should consider it. I think that you could get another job. I think you could excel in another place. I think you can maybe get on the outside and, and let go of some of that mental load that's pushing you down, that's making you muted a little bit to the world. Uh, some of you, I think, know what I'm talking about. And that's my story. I am now in the happiest place in the last 18 years. I am doing incredible work. I am photographing more than ever. I'm, I've been more creative in the past year and a month than I probably had in the last 15 years. It's pretty incredible. So consider leaving. If you have questions, if you need support, anything, reach out to me, let me know, and I will be there for you. This video might get 10 views. It might get 1,000. I have no idea. I just know I need to get out there and tell people about my situation and hopefully give you a little bit of support if you're in my shoes going forward. So... Y'all take care of yourself. I just did it like a Texas thing. That's weird. Everyone take care of yourselves and uh, stick around. See some pretty photos on my channel. We'll see you later.